गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन गुड आफ्टरनून good afternoon ravinder sir good afternoon uh, the lead ma'am the so the students so today uh, we are starting with question question number 17 same chapter probability 151.1 exercise Twelve to twelve forty, one to one forty. Are my lectures today? Okay. So starting with question number seventeen. A lot of twenty bulbs contain four defective ones. So there is a lot of twenty bulbs, which contain four defective bulbs. One bulb is drawn at random from the lot. Then what is the probability that that bulb will be defective one? Very easy. Just write total outcomes will be the total bulbs. That is twenty. Then. Uh, defective bulbs are only four so probability that if you took out any of the bulb and that bulb will be the defective one that is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes favorable for us are the effective ones four total 20 and it is 1 by 5 this is the first part of 17th now the second part if uh, suppose in case uh, you are not understood in between somewhere then you should ask in the chat section so i'll open for you suppose the bulb drawn in first is not defective okay just read the question carefully the bulb suppose the bulb that is drawn in first case is not defective one and it is not replaced means you have not put that bulb again in the lot so total bulbs in second case is 20 minus 1 that is 19 only total bulbs in the second case are just 19 and uh, and uh, defective ones are defective bulbs are 4 because the bulb that we have drawn is not defective so good bulbs are 19 minus 4 that are 15 in number what is the probability that the bulb is not defective so probability that bulb is not defective that is 15 by 19 not defective means good ones Thank you. 
clear Domini is asking why 20 minus 1 sir Domini just read this question again I am highlighting that part is it clear from this line suppose the bulb drawn in the first case is not defective and it is not replaced you have not replaced the bulb in the lot you have put that bulb aside and that is a non-defective bulb so number of defective bulbs are still four but good ones are now 15 okay means total bulbs are one less now because you have not replaced that bulb in the lot again so there are 19 bulbs only and out of that four are defective and 15 are good ones Now the next. Eighteenth. A box contains 90 discs, which are numbered from 1 to 90. Okay, so in, in each and every disc, uh, the number is written, uh, different numbers are written from 1 to 90. So if one disc is drawn at random from the box, then what is the probability that it bears a two-digit number? Okay, then let us start with this. So total outcomes are 90. And in first case, they're asking for two digit numbers. So how many two digit numbers are there? See, uh, how many one digit number are there? Just think for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. From one to nine, we have only nine one digit numbers and rest all are two digit numbers. So remove the first nine numbers from 10 to 90. From 10 to 90, all are two digit numbers. Only from one to nine, these are not two digit number. So remove this nine out of this 90, only 81 are two digit numbers. So probability of getting a two digit number, if you choose at random any of the disk, that is number of favorable outcomes upon total out outcomes. So favorable are 81 and total are 90. With 9, you can cut 9 by 10. Clear. Then the second is a perfect square number. A perfect square number. So how many are perfect squares in this from 1 to 90? So first of all, we have one that is a perfect square, then four, then the square of three, nine, square of four, 16, square of five, 25, square of six, 36, square of seven, 49, square of eight, 64, square of uh, nine, 81, and square of 10 will be 100. So how many we have? We have only nine. So that is nine. So probability of getting a perfect square is nine by 90, that is one by 10. After this, it is a number divisible by five. number divisible by 5. How many numbers will be there? 
so we have numbers from 1 to 90 so 90 divided by 5 so there are 18 numbers which are divisible by 5 so probability that a number is divisible by 5 is equal to favorable 18 and total 90 with 9 you can cut again with 18 only you can cut 1 by 5 We got note of this. Moving on to the next part. Hopefully, this these questions are very easy. This will get complete today only in this lecture only. And next next lecture we will be starting with a new chapter. Right. Okay. Now, question number nineteen. In this, a die is thrown once. See, a child has a die whose six faces are shown below. One face is A. Second, see the, this die. This die is not having one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. This die is having these letters, A, B, C, D, E, and A. A is repeated two times. A die is thrown once. Then what is the probability that you will get A if you will throw a die? So just write total outcomes. R six. Okay, and. Uh, probability that of getting letter a if we will throw a dice the and how many letter a are there 2 2 by 6 1 by 3 so probability of getting letter d so how many times letter d is repeated only one time so 1 by 6 that's over this much easy all right down moving on to the next question Uh, till now the most important question which we have came across in this exercise was the card ones okay many more to come now in the exercise these in between are easy questions then 20th suppose you drop a die at random on a rectangular region now suppose just imagine in your hand you have a dice and you are just swinging it on this rectangular region and in which there is a circle in between what is the probability that your the die that you are throwing that you are throwing on this rectangular region will land inside the circle what is the probability that the die will land inside the circle okay so here they are talking about area okay where the length and breadth of the rectangle is given and the diameter of the circle is given that is 1 meter here total outcome is the total area of the rectangle and the favorable outcome is the area of this circle because we want to land this die on inside the circle see this what is the probability that it will land inside the circle right area of rectangle acting as total outcomes l into b that is 3 into 2 6 meter square and area of circle which is favorable you can write here this is total and this is favorable for us the area of circle that is pi r square 
pi is 22 by 7 and r r here is 1 by 2 whole square because diameter is 1 meter then r will be 1 by 2 meter this is 22 upon 7 into 1 by 4 which is cancelled out in this way that is 11 by 14 meter square now probability that die will land inside the circle that is favorable upon total outcome. The basic formula is only this, but here the favorable becomes the area of circle and the total becomes the area of rectangle. Now, how to write this? Now area of circle is 11 by 14 divided by area of rectangle is 6. So area of circle divided by area of rectangle. So I have written this way with this division sign. Now here we have one. So reciprocal of this 1 by 6 and the finally answer is 11 by 84 probability. Note it down. Good, good, good. If you've done. After this, the next question number 21. A lot consists of 144 ball pens, of which 20 are defective and the others are good. Okay, then write uh, total outcomes here means the total number of pens. Means the total pens that is 144 out of which defective pens are 20 and non defective pens means good pens are 144 minus 20 124 now what is written here that new nuri will buy a pen if it is good and will not buy it if it is defective obviously shopkeeper draws one pen and random and gives it to her. What is the probability that she will buy it? She will buy it if it is good. She will not buy it if it is not good. So first probability that she will buy the pen. That is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes favorable are so if she want to buy then favorable are 124 upon 144 then cut this by 4 
31 upon 36. This is the answer. And after this, probability that she will not buy it That is the defective ones upon total four fives and thirty six. So these are the required answers. Note it down. We'll move to the next question number twenty two. So next is this question number 22. Refer to example 13. You can take out example 13 in your book or you can see here on the screen. Example 13. Two dice, one blue color and one gray color are thrown at the same time. Means now you are throwing two dice at the same time. Then write down all the possible outcomes. Uh, do not read the rest of the question because the question is here then sum on two dice see if you have thrown two dice at the same time suppose here we have two and here i got three so what is the sum on two dice five suppose i again thrown the dice then i got six and six on both then the sum on two dice is 12 like this the sum is given after the moment you thrown you have thrown the dice then you got the sum of two numbers on the dice that is 5, 12, it can be any number like this. Okay, so first of all, you should know in this question, see the question is important, the concept behind the question is important. Not this question, but the concept behind this question is very important because question comes like this. If two dice are thrown, right? If two dice are thrown, then total outcomes are 36. How total outcomes will be 36? That is as follows. You have to write this in your paper also, in exams also. What are the 36 outcomes? 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. Can these be outcomes that on one dice? I'm getting again and again one and another other side. On the other dice, I am getting one, two, three, four, five, six. So these can be the outcomes. After this, another two, comma, one. See, you will not find any repeated outcome. These all are unique outcomes, different. Two, comma, four, two, comma, five, and two, comma, six. This way, we can write Just wait, do not try to see.
So the third line you can write now: three comma one, three comma two, three comma three, three comma four, three comma five, three comma six. Then four comma one, four comma two, four comma three, four comma four, four comma five, and four comma six. Five, right everywhere. Five here, then six. So these are the thirty-six outcomes that you can get if you throw two dice, two dice. Okay, at the same time, or if you throw one dice two times at the same, two dice at the same time, or one time uh, and one dice two times. Okay. so you will get these 36 outcomes now what they are talking about now read the question it is given that sum on two dice is if the sum of two dice is 2 then out then the probability is 1 by 36 if sum of sum of two dice is 8 then probability is 5 by 36 and if sum of two dice is 12 then probability is 1 by 36 like this some of the probabilities are given and some we have to find Okay, now see this. A student argues that there are eleven possible outcomes: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven possible outcomes, and that's why the probability is one by eleven of each of them. So it is all wrong. What is mentioned here? These three probabilities are also wrong, according to that student. Do you agree with this argument? No, the student was wrong at his place because it is not possible like this. Because uh, here. you are writing the justification in your answer how the probability you have to take out see this if the sum is 2 how many outcomes are there where the sum is 2 see this if we will add one and when how what will get 2 do we have any other combination of numbers where we are getting the sum of two numbers as 2 no here we'll get 1 plus 2 3 3 then 4 then 4 then 4 Then five, 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 five. Are you getting me? Yeah. So we have only one outcome where sum of two number is two. Okay. So the first is all correct, or we can write here probability of getting sum. As two, so one by thirty-six, because there is only one combination of, there is only one pair where the sum is two on both the digits. Then sum is three, three, one, and two. Only we have these two pairs. We have where we have sum of two numbers as three. So probability that sum is three. That is only two by thirty-six, which we can cut one by eighteen. Then probability that sum is four. We have three, one, two, and three. That is one by twelve. Then the sum is five. For this, we have one, two, three, and four. You will find this. You will find these numbers as diagonals. See this. This is the first. This is the second. This diagonal lines. These are the four numbers. See these four pairs are making five, five. One plus four, five. Two plus three, five. Three plus two, five. Four plus one, five. So there are only four in this case. So one by nine. Then probability that the sum is six. For six again, one, two, three, four, five. We have only five outcomes with five by thirty-six. Then sum seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have with sum seven, we have.
six outcomes. Okay, so one by thirty six. Then after this probability that the sum is eight. That is already given there. Still, I am writing here. That is five by thirty six. In the in the same way, you can check it from the. See this. These are five outcomes with sum as eight. Okay, then probability that the sum is nine. And it is four by thirty-six. This is one by nine. Then probability that the sum is ten. Then is three by thirty-six. That is one by twelve. Then prob probability that the sum is eleven. Then it is two by thirty-six. That is one by eighteen. Then probability that the sum is. Twelve. Then it is one by thirty-six. So these are all the answers. So the student so it is already justified. So the student's argument. It's wrong. Okay. Pro is wrong as probability can't be one by eleven. In each case, so this is done. Now the next question, question number twenty-three, which is also an important one. If you've not written, take a screenshot. Be quick. How total outcomes are thirty six? Angkor is asking. Where to count these all? These are thirty six outcomes. Yeah. a game consists of tossing a 1 rupee coin a game consists of tossing a 1 rupee coin three times and noting its outcome each time hani wins if all the tosses give the same result see you are tossing a coin then again you are tossing a coin then again you are tossing a coin while tossing a coin three times you can get every time h Head head head, or you can get every time tails or head head tails. So there can be different outcomes. Yes. So let us write how many outcomes will be there. The way in the previous question it was thirty six outcomes, and here in this way here also there will be eight outcomes in total. Total outcomes. if a coin is tossed three times are eight and these outcomes are right that is h h h h this is the best way of writing these outcomes t t t t First of all, four H and four T, then two H, two times T, then two times H, and two times T, then H T H T H T H T. Automatically, you will get these eight outcomes. So four H, then four T, like this, then two H two T pair, then H and T one H one T, like this. You have to make. 
4H, 4T, 2S, 2T, 2S, 2T, then H, T, S, T, S, T, S, T, in this way. So now uh, it is very clear that there are eight outcomes and Honey will win if toes, if all the tosses give the same result. So same result we are getting in these two outcomes, H, H, H and T, T, and T. So these are the same results. And otherwise he will lose. Okay. So just write, what is the probability that Hanif will lose the game? Probability that Hanif will lose the game. That is, see, he will win only if the outcomes are same. Otherwise, he'll lose. So in six outcomes, if these will come, then he will lose. Then six by eight is the probability that is three by four. Now the next question. Make a note of this. Yes, this you have to write, Prancho. Now again, this type of question. A die is thrown twice. If we will throw a die twice, then these 36 outcomes will appear. The same. Just wait, let me clear this color on this so that we can understand this question. Now note down this total outcomes. If we will throw die two times are 36 and these are given below five will not come up either time five should not come in any of the throw if we are throwing a die twice then five should not come so just see how many times five comes in this five 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 Five, five.